So hello and welcome everyone. My name is Jezal Sanya and in this video we are going to solve the problem of the day that is sort a k sorted doubly linked list. Okay, so this is a variation of a, a quotient that appears inside array. So the name of the quotient with help of array is sort a k sorted array. So let's try to understand what the problem statement is. But before starting the video, make sure that you hit the like button and write down your approaches in the comment section. So let's read the problem statement. So here you will be given a doubly linked list and each node is at most k indices away from its target position. The problem is to sort the given doubly linked list. The distance can be assumed in either both of the directions that is left and right. So what this uh, question is trying to say, let's take this first example of this doubly linked list and uh, let's try to understand what they are trying to say. Okay, so here in this example, we can see that uh, the array, the doubly linked list is 3, 2, 1. Uh, then we have 5, then we have 6, then we have 4 and the value of k is given as 2. So they are saying that any number will be at most k distance away from its targeted position and that k distance can be on the left hand side as well as on the right hand side. So this one can appear in this much of the position, its correct position will be in this uh, this much of area. Now if we try to see what is the actual sorted doubly linked list, so it will appear something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and there will be a uh, connectivity between both the nodes. Okay, so how to solve this problem? So here it appears that we are supposed to sort a given doubly linked list and some k value is also given to us. So what I will be doing? You can use any sorting algorithm, you can apply the merge sort on a doubly linked list, you can apply insertion sort on a doubly linked list, but those will be taking much amount of time. If you apply insertion sort, about n square amount of time will be taken, right? But what will be the optimal uh, solution to solve this problem? So if you have solved this similar question that is based on an array, sort a k sorted array, then you will be able to easily solve this problem and will be able to easily get the intuition on how to solve this problem. So let me give you an idea. So how to how, how are we going to solve this problem? So if you observe here, we know that this one can appear in this much of the position. So what I will be doing, I will be needing some data structure that will be giving me the minimum element in constant amount of time. If you remember that data structure, then that data structure is called mean heap data structure. So what I will do, I'll create a mean heap data structure and the size of this mean heap data structure will be around k plus one. So now you might be wondering why are we creating the mean heap of size k plus one? So what is the reason? So here if you can, you can appear, you can see that this one, it appears that on the left hand side, its correct position will be k distance at max. So what I'll be doing, first of all, I will be inserting k plus elements inside this heap data structure. I'll be inserting k plus elements inside this heap data structure. And what I'll be inserting, will I be inserting the nodes or the data? I'll be inserting the nodes. Because if I insert the data, then I will be needing to create a new so-called link list, right? And that would be occupying some extra space. So instead of doing so, what I will be doing, let's imagine the, our, our head is over here. And I will just make this diagram much cleaner. So here, this is our head. What I'll be doing? I'll be inserting k plus one elements. So there will be first iteration that will be inserting k plus elements. k plus elements in the heap. So what I will do, I'll insert the element. So three will be inserted. Basically nodes are inserted. So this is a heap of nodes. So nodes are inserted, three has been inserted. Then I will move this pointer. Let's say this is your head pointer or let's say this is your current pointer. So current will move forward. So now I'll be inserting two. I'll be moving forward. Now I'll be inserting one. So the K value was two. I have inserted three elements. Okay. And then this uh, one was inserted. So I'll be moving this K, uh, C pointer that is current forward. So I have three, two and one and the minimum element that appears to be one. Okay. So now what I'll be doing, I'll be creating a reference pointer and I'll be calling that reference pointer as new head pointer. This is just a reference point. I'm not creating any extra new node. Now what I will be doing, we know that this current pointer is standing at this location, right? And some of the elements are yet to be traversed in this given input doubly linked list, right? So now this new head pointer, I'll be one by one removing the element from this heap data structure. So one will be removed. That is the node will be removed. And this one has got the connectivity that means the left and the right pointer are still connected so what i will do i'll keep a tail pointer as well i'll be keeping a 
temp pointer let's call it as temp pointer not the tail pointer so what will this temp pointer do temp pointer will be pointing to the last node of this new doubly linked list actually this is not the new doubly linked list it is just a new arrangement of the given doubly linked list no new nodes are created over here so temp will be pointing to the last node so one has been inserted and whenever i insert anything at the end of the at the end of the temp i'll make make sure that this left pointer and right pointer will be pointing to the relevant nodes so as this is the first node the previous one will be pointing to null and the next will also be pointing to null so one will be inserted now one will be removed and now as we can see one has been removed we can see that still some of the elements are yet to be encountered so 5 will be inserting over here the node 5 will be inserted and this current will move forward so now what is the minimum between 3 2 and 5 i can see 2 is the minimum now what i will do i'll remove this 2 and i'll insert it over here i'll insert this 2 over here and i will move this temp pointer forward and i'll make sure that the previous of this new node points to the previous node and the next of this temp points to the null node okay so now 2 has been removed from this one now I can see the new node that has been encountered in this W linked list is 6. Now 3, 5 and 6 at the root position I will be encountering 3. Again remove this 3 from the uh, root uh, root, and I will be inserting 3 over here. Make sure that the uh, previous of 3 points to temp and then move this temp pointer forward and make sure that the next of the temp is null. It is very important that you modify the pointers because the pointers are actually pointing to some of the locations in the original doubly linked list if you don't do so then you will be getting runtime error and there will be ambiguity between the pointers moving on forward now 3 has been removed from this heap data structure now i can still see that 6 was inserted c pointer will move forward and i can see 4 is there so this is my node number 4 now 4 5 and 6 what is the minimum one the minimum is 4 so i'll remove 4 from this and i'll be attaching at the next of the temp and this 4 previous will be pointing to temp then I'll be moving this temp pointer forward. So temp moves over here. So temp is over here. Now 4 has been removed from this heap. Now I can see that there are no nodes remaining inside this doubly linked list, input doubly linked list, right? So 5 and 6 are there. So minimum appears to be 5. So 5 will be removed from here and the next of temp will be pointing to 5 and the previous of 5 will be pointing to temp. And I'll move this diagram a little bit on the uh, right hand side. So now 5 has been removed. I can see no nodes are remaining from the input W linked list. So now there is 6. So 6 will be removed. So before moving 6, I'll be incrementing temp. So temp will be pointing to 5 and the next of temp will be pointing to null. Now I'll be removing 6. 6 has been removed. So temp dot next points to 6 and 6 dot previous points to 5. Then I will move this temp pointer forward and make sure that this next of temp is always null. Okay, so now I can see nothing is remaining inside our priority queue or let's say the heap data structure or the mean heap data structure. And this is our new arrangement for the given input W link list. Okay, so here these are the original nodes. Okay, no nodes are been have been created by me. These are the original nodes that are taken from this input W link list and their pointers are modified according to the choice given by this mean heap data structure. Okay, so if you know about so called heap data structure then we will be implementing the heap data structure using the priority queue in any programming language let's say in c++ you use priority queue in java also you will you will be using priority queue right so now let's jump to the implementation part and then we'll be analyzing what will be the time and the space complexity so here this is the uh, solution class and this is the function that will be completing so double uh, doubly linked list head has been transferred over here as an argument and k has been also given as an argument so if the doubly linked list is empty then what we are supposed to do this means that uh, our head will be equal to null this means that our head will be equal to null i'll be returning the linked list as it is then here i'll be creating a reference pointer that is new head and the tail pointer this will, which will be pointing to the last node of the new doubly linked list and I have created a priority queue which will be holding the doubly linked list. Now priority queue can only prioritize on the primitive data type. Now if you want to do on the user defined data type just like the class doubly linked list node you need to provide a comparator. So I have created a compare uh, class implemented the co class compare and it, which implements the comparator and then compare to compare method has been uh, overridden over here means it has been implemented over here. So have a look about how you can implement this comparator. So I have passed a new comparator, uh, like basically the class that implements the comparator as an argument to this priority queue. And this basically will be sorting the doubly linked list based on the smallest value. 
okay so it will be providing the smallest value it will be prioritizing the smallest value of the uh, nodes that you have provided now i'll be inserting k plus one elements inside the priority queue so i've started the iteration iteration starts from zero and it goes till kth index so inserting all the uh, i'm using this head pointer and i'll be moving this head pointer forward because i don't need the head because new head will be created then i'll be iterating while the priority queue is not empty if I find that this is the first time I'll be inserting something to the so-called new head, then what I'll be doing. So if the new head equals to null, then what I'll be doing, I'll be removing a node from the priority queue and I'll be calling this as new head. And then the previous of the new head will be null and the next will also be null. Make sure that you modify the pointers, very important step. Then you'll be moving this tail point to the new head. And if this is not the first time that you are appending anything to the new doubly linked list, then what you will be doing, you will say that the new node that you are removing is the next of the tail and the new node that you have have been removed it should point to the tail so tail dot next dot previous equals to tail and then what you will do you will move the tail pointer forward and make sure that the next of tail is always null and if there are some nodes remaining inside the input doubly linked list then make sure that you add that inside the priority queue and move the head pointer forward okay so this step will be iterating until the priority queue is empty and at the end you have the new head reference so you'll be return, returning the new head so now let's say to see the compilation if we get any kind of errors or not okay so the compilation has been completed now let's say to submit it and we can see that the problem has been successfully submitted so talking about the time and space complexity if you have a look the time complexity of this priority queue will be log q because whenever you remove anything from a priority queue means the root node log number of nodes is the time complexity so here there will be only k number of elements at any time inside the priority queue so the operations of remove inside priority queue will take around log k and there are n number of elements so for every element you will be removing something so it takes around n log k so we have matched the expected time and space complexity and the space complexity as i mentioned will be equivalent to order of k so that was it for in this video i hope you really enjoyed this solution and if you really enjoyed this solution then do it the like button and write down what was your approach for this problem of the day so keep coding and until then we'll be meeting in the next video thank you for watching Thank you everyone.